Hello out there in YouTube land. Well, this is actually Friday Eve if you're up at Mark's or Thursday if you're here afternoon. I just watched some of his movie taking a break and had to get back out here. You can't see it. There's a daggone deer down there. They're all over this place. Let me see if I can zoom in on him. I know you're interested in seeing a, a stupid deer. Probably have to put it on a tripod. There you go. Uh, too, too shaky here and can't see my finger, but you can see him. They are all over here just tearing everything up. Now back to the thing. Anyhow, I watched Mark, got enthusiastic, came down here and said, hmm, I had this log on the, on the, uh, on the uh, carriage. This is the one that you saw the other day. And being old and senile, I forgot to run the metal detector over it. These are yard trees, so you got to run a metal detector over them. Even though I've hit just as much stuff in woods trees as, as yard trees. And uh, here's the position I wanted. I think you guys can see that. Right now, that's in about the 11, 11 o'clock position. So I wanted to show you my automatic log turner. Figure maybe you'd like to see it. I don't know. You, you got we, we, this kind of an instructional video. All mine are kind of like, here's how you do. Here's how I do it. It's not how you have to do it. I'm gonna put you in the tripod because it's gonna. Uh, sometimes that thing just doesn't want to work. Of course I don't either. There's my automatic log turner, and so I want to get that thing around to the nine o'clock position where my I wanted that to the heads. It's because this log is bowed. I, I, this, oh, I forgot to show you. This is the one that I was going to cut in half. It was 17, it was 17, or 16, 7, or something like that. I was going to cut it in half, and then I decided that I'd rather just cut it at the 10, 6, 10, 8, what I've been cutting all the others at, because then they'll stack on the pallet easier. But this is how I, you know, this is how I do it. An old railroad jack. And I keep something in there. Uh oh, okay, I'm out of out of reach now. So now this is what what's known as a I think they call it a quick drop. I'm not sure. I'd rather have a bigger a bigger one of these. So it doesn't come this way. I don't have I guess I could sit down here and go like this paint them yellow. That's what I gotta do. Anyhow here's a quick drop. If you've never seen it I, I'm not used to working from that side. The other side. See how if it didn't didn't rot out. Quick drop. Anyhow, um, well, that's how I turn them by myself so I don't get totally wore out. Bring that in here and put this up here and we'll just do it again. Uh, it's a little high for that. If I move it down, I think I can get it. This log is kind of you know, it's like the one Mark saw today. Believe it or not, this log is is only I, I don't like that. This log is only um, not even a year old, and it it just rotted really. These things, white pines, just rot out so quick. Here, I get on this side. Too fast for my handle. I get around to the to where I want it timing wise and I'll show you when I get it around there why I wanted it there I'm out of out of stroke again this should come down this time sometimes it's fast now I gotta be careful now because it's See how it's lifting up here? I don't want to push the carriage off the back. Let me see where I'm at here. There it slipped. There it slipped. Let me see where my timing mark is on the front. Uh, just about there. Hope I'll get it on this one. Look, let's see if that's, that's probably close enough that I can go with it. Eh, I'm doing it. It's a movie. We'll just finish it, I guess. Eh, 
quick down. It's just stabbing in that wood so hard. See where we're at now. About two more minutes worth. Then I'll be it. There, I think that was it. I got my dog out there now. That's why I don't usually bring you guys to loading these these logs. This is kind of a pain in the butt. All these pines are a pain in the butt. Um, see now I'm on. I don't know if you can see that. I want that toward the L's. And the reason being, see the sweep in the log? The sweep in the log, the middle one, uh, where's my finger? The middle one there isn't hitting, which is all right. The master dog is missing. Didn't come to work. Master dog don't work here. Anyhow, um, that'll give me a, a good hook point here and a good hook, good dog down place in the back. And that'll be enough to hold this thing. And when when you go into it, you don't want to be going into it 90 miles an hour. But if I had it up, then it would be rocking on the center because the belly was down. I could put the belly I could put the belly all the way down, which probably wouldn't be bad either. But this is just the way I did it. So that's that's uh, now I'll show you dogging it down. Put you back in the put you back in jail. I'm gonna dog it down. I'm looking for, looking for it to be fairly straight down this way, which it is. I want it to be kind of sitting on its own, so it doesn't want to roll, which I'll know in a minute when I let this my master dog, master turner down. Crash. So it's, it's actually pretty stable. It, it doesn't want to really go any place. So it's good bugs uh, and it's up against everything so now I can pull her down ah! I know you guys are coming to my movie just for my butt uh -oh. doesn't look like the rear rear dog can catch it I could put the tape attachment out there. Oh man, I don't believe that. The rear dog. Not only that, I can't get the dog up. Man, I made it by a half inch here. take these out which I forget half the time and I saw them in half I got more of those sold in half than you can imagine put that out of my way we'll get the jack out of my way oh. I guess you're still in there I forgot to I got to keep checking now if you shake that it should be solid so then I want to um, put a flat on it and turn it down put a, probably take a take a slab I don't know what I'm gonna do. Won't know until I get into it. But these these are like the ones that Mark had. They're pretty pretty nasty. Um, you know, the one that I just watched him, it was a 32 inch pine and he had to get all the rot off of it. Well I'll have to do the same thing. There's a metal detector I just went over it with, so I okay, look at all these turtles that I cut off of this and that other one. Some of these are off that other one. Show you what man came to the mill today. I think I might cut that little one next and make my pallet out of that instead of des destroying some good good sellable wood. Look at, can you see all the wood that came in? I, I got another video of, I think the truck doing a, a quick one because 
Thursdays are um, Mark Solon days. Some of this is junk. This is, um, that's uh, Poplar. And I get a few boards out of it, but it's got a crotch in there, so it ain't a, isn't that great. Once again, you got all this stuff sticking out. And I, I understand why they do that, because when they're in a tree and they're sawing it down, it's a lot, it's a lot quicker to cut this down and that down than cut this big hunk off. So, you know, I understand it, but from their point of view, from my point of view, boy, they're nasty. Now this one's, this one's poplar, this one's poplar, this one's poplar. This is probably should be firewood. That's, that's going to be junk. That might be some pretty wood in that. Um, and that's, that's probably should be firewood. It's so small, but I'll probably cut something out of it. Then I have this, this pile of junk up here. This one's, this one's poplar. Look how it's already cracked that much since it was cut today. This one here should be firewood. This is the stump off an oak that they cut and then the guy didn't want it because it was just too big to deal with. This is a poplar here. It looks like junk poplar. You know, might be good two by fours or something like that. You gotta kinda take the good with the bad. You can't see the big stump up there. That's a poplar stump, but you know something? Poplar makes good firewood. Not great firewood, good campfire wood is a better thing to do. But I'll put it in the boiler, but I can cut it in half. The guy, where this came from, that guy can't handle it and the tree service came out. Um, they'd have to charge him extra for moving it, so the neighbor gave me a bunch of wood and it'll, it'll work out fine. Then I got this over here. What a pretty day. That's kind of, I don't know, good four by four wood, you know. And look at this. Guess what kind of wood it is. Yes, it is very, very, you don't, don't touch that. Can you see that? That's some sticky wood. There's some pretty good size ones. I, there, I, I don't know what it is, don't have a tape with me. This is, um, that's, that's campfire wood. That's close to campfire wood. That, that might be all right there. So I got, uh, today I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, this one down here, 11. That one down there is a telephone pole. So, you know, I got about 18, 18 logs. Then I got all these. Now, can you imagine? Last fall, this was a uh, live tree. Look how, look how fast they deteriorate. Did that this morning down there on that one down there. I don't doubt that he's still in there. There's a ring neck, ring neck snake down there when I pulled the bark back. I put him down into... I put him down here. I wonder if he's still here. Hey, Mr. Snake. I think he, I didn't think he liked getting out of there. That's black walnut, by the way. All this here is black walnut. This one, this one, this one, all the, almost all this pile is black walnut. I don't know if it's any good anymore. But it was kind of funny. I rolled back the bark. There was a little ringneck snake. Anyhow, that's good for this one. Um, showed you how, to, how I put the log in there. I showed you my log turner. Um, the next movie is going to be uh, slicing that bad boy up. So I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to close this movie out. So if you hit this stuff, if you like this stuff, kind of stuff, please hit the uh, like button and subscribe. And if you uh, like it a whole lot, share it with a friend. And if you didn't like it at all, share it with an enemy so you're going to annoy him. So uh, I'm going to start sawing this. Oh man, I got sticky on me already. Now I got sticky on the camera. Anyway, I'm gonna saw saw this one. I might not I might not video this one. That's gonna be a, a quick saw. I think I'm gonna make that pallet out of that. It'd be a little short, but yeah, I, I just don't feel like destroying a whole 10 footer. So uh, out of breath. That's what happens when you get old. We'll see you guys later. You saw how I put the logs up and get them on deck the way I want. And this is about where I'll bring you, we'll bring you in on the next movie. Over and out. Bye-bye. Put you in the camera. I'll turn it off first because I'm not that...